difficult to really know what to do right now. Just to think of the fact that uh never be able to hold my nephew again the same way. Killed just a few months before his second birthday. I can't imagine what my nephew had to go through. The family of one-year-old Vistin Lavelle Stevenson barely able to speak, as Detroit police say his own mother is responsible for his death. It's so hard. Everybody wants to talk to each other. Everybody wants to say something, and nobody knows what to say. Nobody even knows what to do. 20-year-old Rihanna Nichols charged Monday with felony murder, first-degree child abuse, and torture. Nichols arrested Friday and accused of beating the little boy so badly that he was unable to make it through. Vistin dying in the hospital two days later. He's definitely not in pain anymore. According to the toddler's family, Vistin suffered from a fractured skull, a broken collarbone, pelvis, and ribs. They also say he had internal bleeding and brain swelling. Although police aren't releasing details, Vistin's family says his mother apparently became angry over a knocked over flat screen TV, then began beating the toddler. Vistin's father too upset to speak Monday. He definitely had the courage to hold his son for the last time. He, we sat there the whole entire time. He never left his side. Vistin's family now trying to remember happier times with the little boy. He was a very, 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 very happy baby. As they try to prepare to lay him to rest. The main thing is to pray for, pray for our strength, our peace of mind, our health, and my nephew. And then he's in a better place. And then he know he was loved regardless of anything. Right now, Nichols is being held without bond. She faces up to life in prison. Meanwhile, if you'd like to help Vistin's family, we have a link to donate at fox2detroit.com. I'm Erica Erickson, Fox 2 News.